hate watching myself do this, by the way. Hi, this is Daniel of Mirror Bright Cosplay. And if you're following us on Instagram, then you saw that we built flak from Borderlands 3 to take the pack south. If you're not following us on Instagram, then why not? Usually we just post on Instagram, but for this build, I wanted to highlight one of the pieces that I built for flak. That piece is Flack's mask. It's not really a mask, it's his face, but mask goes on my face, so we'll just call it a mask. This is 3D printed, and the model was created by Hoi Hoi's and Cosplay, who released it for free and is allowing anybody to download it and print it out. And a big thank you goes out to them. I printed the face in plastic, duh. I printed the face in ABS, except for the center eye, which was printed in a translucent PLA to let light go through, which you can see if I turn it on. Ta-da! The lights inside are a NeoPixel ring, which I wanted to use because each LED is individually addressable and it allows them to blink, which you'll see throughout the video, just, just like that. This 3D model was actually created with a physical lever inside to allow for uh, physical blinking. But I didn't feel like that solution was gonna work well for me, so I decided to go with the lights blinking in software instead. The lights are driven by an Andrino board called the Flora, which you can get at Adafruit. Another neat thing that I did with the lights was put a microphone inside so that when I talked, the lights actually get brighter. Allow me to demonstrate. Hello. My name is Flack, and the hunt is everything. Fix my hair. All the code written for the lights and the microphone were custom by me, and I'm sharing them uh, in the comments below. A few more things about the face. I see through here, which is covered up with a uh, tinted visor, like the kind you would use in a Mandalorian helmet. I also initially put an elastic band on the back of it to hold it on my head, but that was very uncomfortable and it really smushed against my face. Then I had the idea of getting a hard hat from the hardware store and ripping out the harness inside of it and gluing it into the mask, as you can see. That way it's just suspended on my head and it's not flattened up against it. I wore it like that to PAX and it was very comfortable and easy to take on and off. I also put rare earth magnets inside of the face at different points, so when I put his hood up, it stays up without falling down at all. You can see, it just clicks into place. Easy on and easy off. And that's pretty much the highlights of Flack's face. I had a lot of fun building this whole build, but especially for the face, I'm very proud of how it turned out. If you have any questions about any of the techniques I use in building this, feel free to leave a comment below or shoot us a message on Instagram. We're pretty active there. All the references and materials that I use to create the face will be linked in the video description below. If you want to see more content like this, please like the video and subscribe to our channel. We're hoping to start doing videos like this once a month. See you next time.